Hello everyone, welcome back to TechCloud. As nowadays, we are surrounded with technologies like online transaction, chatting, browsing, searching, gaming and many more stuff. Have you ever wondered how our data stays safe during online transactions? So today we are going to discuss about one of the layer 4 protocols which is responsible for keeping our data safe during online transaction which is TLS. Okay, so TLS stands for Transport Layer Security and TLS is a widely adopted security protocol designed to facilitate privacy and data security for communication over the internet. A primary use case of TLS is encrypting the communication between web application and server such as web browser loading a website. Then. TLS can also be used to encrypt other communications such as email, messaging, voice over IP which is VOIP. Also TLS is like SSL but it has more security than SSL. Moving on let's look into the version of TLS which are the version 1.0 introduced in 1999, 1.1 .1 introduced in 2006 and got depreciated in 2021. Later now we are using version 1.2 since 2008 and 1.3 since 2018 to till now. Further moving on, let's now discuss about how the TLS works or what is the TLS handshake. At first we have the client and server model in it. So at first they pop form the TCP handshake like we can see on the screen that we have a client and server. So now client will start. So client will send the SYN packet based on that server will reply with SYN acknowledge packet. After that client will acknowledge and then client will also send the client hello packet. Inside the hello packet client will send supported cipher, random number, session ID and SNI. Now server will reply with server hello inside that server will include that selected cipher from the cipher received from the client then random number then session ID and the session ID is as empty and then server certificate. Now the server hello is done. Now the client will initiate key exchange message in which client will share encrypted pre-master secret. Post all these messages now the master key creation will start into that both server and client will exchange the specific cipher and after that finish the handshake to form handshake protocol or we can say a encrypted tunnel. Once the master key created post that the actual data or application layer data transfer will start. So this is how the TLS handshake works before any actual data transfer to keep our data safe. So moving on if you have a YSR capture into that we can see the TLS packet and messages being exchanged like this on the screen we can see the protocol version, message type, client and server hello and many more information. So if you have a YSI capture from there you can identify the TLS handshake like this. Moving on let's now look into some of the benefit of using the TLS. First of all it provides encryption. It can help to secure transmitted data using the encryption. Then interoperability. So this TLS works with the most of the browsers. TLS and SSL both even works with the most of the browsers. And TLS provides the algorithm flexibility that operation for authentication mechanism, encryption algorithm and hashing algorithm that are in use during the secure session. It has the ease of deployment that many application TLS temporarily on a Windows Server 2003 operating systems. Then ease of use because we implement TLS beneath the application layer most of its operations are completely invisible to the client. Okay, so this is all about the fundamental explanation of TLS, how it works, handshake and benefit. 
visit the channel page to know more about SSL and SSL handset and also other protocols. I hope this video is helpful for you. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.